So I go to the bank the other day and I'm standing at the teller and I overhear the guy next to me ask the teller if his daughter's debit card will help her credit score. Now I only blame him partially because really at no point in our childhood education or even our adult education are we taught about credit scores and credit cards and how they all really, really work. You really kind of rely on your mom or your dad or some family member to teach you if you don't go and learn on your own. Now at Jazz, we specialize in managing retirement assets. But anything we can do to help you save more before you retire just means you'll be able to invest more. And that means a more comfortable retirement. So today we're going to give you five, we're going to give you five, we'll go like, we'll do it like this. We're gonna give you five credit card myths that you really should know. Most people think these things are actually true. Now, before we begin, you should know that I don't benefit from this information at all. Unlike other financial advisors or large financial firms, we never charge for advice. We don't get commissions from selling you products or putting investments in your portfolio. Simple as that. Well, that's awfully nice of them. Myth number one, paying more than the minimum on your credit card balance helps to raise your credit score. Now, there's a, a tiny bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of truth to this. So, here's how it works. Paying more than the minimum monthly payment on your credit card raises your available credit. Now, in turn, this helps to lower your debt to credit ratio. Having a low debt to credit ratio, that's what actually raises your credit score. So if you have a $1,000 balance and an $1,100 credit limit, it's not gonna make much of an effect if you pay a little bit more that month. So if money's tight and you just can't afford to pay a lot on the credit card, don't worry about it. It's not gonna really do anything to your credit score. Myth number two, always carrying a balance will help improve your credit score. No, no, Whoa, okay, getting too old for that. Woo, see you stars. This one's really important because so many people believe, and actually I see it all the time, people tell other people that you have to carry a balance on your credit card in order to improve your credit score or build a credit score altogether. Simply not true. I think where the confusion here though is that part of your credit score is actually determined by your payment history. It doesn't matter whether you pay a dollar or five thousand dollars, whether you pay some of your credit card debt off, or whether you pay all of your credit card debt off each month. It's the history that really affects your score. So if you charge something on your credit card and you wanna pay the whole thing off when the bill comes, that's fine. General rule of thumb is that you probably should be able to at least pay 25% of that credit card balance. Otherwise, whatever it is that you bought, you probably shouldn't have bought in the first place. Myth number three, opening a new credit card or new line of credit will hurt my credit score. Not true. Well, this depends on your definition of hurt. Many people think that they take a huge hit when they open a new car loan or credit card. It's simply not true. It's not a huge hit. It's more of like a scratch or a ding. New lines of credit only lower your credit score on average six points. So as of this taping, if your credit score is in the 700s, don't worry about it. Myth number four, don't let the credit card company raise your credit limit. Now this one's tough, right? Because some people can't handle that higher credit limit. So those people, yeah, don't let the company raise your credit card limit, but let me explain. If you can handle it, let them raise your credit limit. That's fine. See, 30% of your credit score is actually calculated by debts owed. The more you owe relative to your credit limit, the lower your score is gonna be. So if the company wants to raise your limit, then your debt to limit ratio is actually gonna be much better, which in effect could slowly start to raise your score. Side note, if you're on an aggressive plan to pay off credit card debt and you're making larger payments, call the credit card company and ask for a lower interest rate and also ask them to raise your credit limit. Now, as the time passes, you'll of course pay less interest, right? They'll probably lower your rate and raise your limit because they're seeing bigger payments come in. If you're only paying the minimum monthly payment and you call to ask for a lower rate and a higher credit limit, they're probably gonna say no because you're not making any effort to pay off what you already have. If you're making those larger payments, then ask for the lower interest rate, ask for the higher limit. It's gonna help you in the long run because as you're making those payments to pay off your debt, you're gonna have that wider debt to credit limit ratio, which remember that's 30% of your credit score. So if you can benefit 
with a few extra points along the way. Go for it. And myth number five, is that what we decided on? <laughs> Myth number five for credit cards and credit card scores is to keep your credit balance under 30%. This one was actually developed by some of the original financial gurus that you see on TV. And it was kind of meant to just answer the general question, what should my debt to credit ratio be? There's really no way to know unless you know a lot about the individual. So the industry came up with 30%. And this just means if you have a thousand dollar credit limit on a credit card, don't go any higher than $300. That's what they decided just randomly. <laughs> and while it is true that a lower debt to credit limit ratio does help, we can't stop there. There's no way to know exactly what your individual debt to credit ratio should be without knowing the rest of your debt pile that you have, if you have any at all. Well, if you found this helpful, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, do something, let me know you're out there. As always, we'd love to talk to you about managing your retirement investments or helping you roll over that 401k. If that's the case and you'd like to have some questions answered or give us a shot, I'll put my information right there.